But um, my name is Leo. I'm the co-founder of the platform Prizio.com, who hosted um, George's amazing fundraiser earlier this year to benefit two amazing nonprofits, the Food Depot of Santa Fe and the Wild Spirit Wolf Sanctuary. Um, an amazing amount of money was raised, um, around $502,000, um, split between a few charities, but mainly the two that are in attendance tonight and will be receiving their giant novelty checks. Um, <laughs> but, um, so thank you so much um, to both of these nonprofits for coming down and Leighton for bringing Flurry, the amazing Arctic. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> glad I got that right. Um, uh, but yeah, mainly I just wanted to thank George from the bottom of my heart for not only raising such an amazing amount of money for these nonprofits, but um, also for being such an amazing sport throughout the whole campaign. He was an absolute delight to work with and always coming up with crazy, amazing ideas to squeeze the last dime out of the fans. <laughs> One of my very favorites, of course, being, as I'm sure many of you saw in the press, because it got the most wild amount of media attention, <laughs> was um, offering to kill off um, someone who pays $20,000, donates $20,000 to the charity in the upcoming novel. Um, we tried to limit it to two, I think, but because it, people were so quick, three slipped through the press. Um, so three people will be meeting a grisly fate in the upcoming novel. Um, but yeah, I will hand over the stage to George, who will explain a bit about why, uh, why himself and Paris um, chose these two amazing um, nonprofits to be the beneficiaries of his campaign. Uh, thank you, Leo, and I want to thank you and your amazing crew from Prazio, who uh, have not only run this this uh, charity drive, but many, many other charity drives. If you go to their website, you'll see uh, you have half a dozen drives going on at every time for all sorts of worthy charities uh, hosted by uh, various different celebrities, authors, athletes, uh, rock stars, movie stars, television stars. Um, all sorts of interesting people donating interesting things and uh, I'm very flattered to uh, have been included uh, in their in their company um, I was a little nervous about it at first saying well I don't know you know you've had people like Kobe Bryant and Justin Bieber doing things who's gonna, who's gonna donate for one for me but uh, god damn so I really have to thank my fans for that they're the ones who gave all this money my, my fans and my readers, they're some of the most amazing people in, in the world. Um, you know, a basic donation um, didn't get you any prizes except a ticket for the grand prize. But that was a, a $10 donation, I believe, was yeah. the basic. And, and we got an amazing number of people who gave a $10 donation. Uh, in addition to the people who paid twenty thousand dollars to die horribly in my books, uh, I'm working on those right now. Uh, I'm in correspondence with the three prize winners who who uh, get to die. Uh, I'm working out, you know, who who they're going to be. Do they want to be in the Night's Watch, or they want to be a knight or a lady or whatever? So they get to pick that. And I'll kind of, you know, disguise them a little and work out a mode of death. One 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 of the winners uh, wrote me and said. You can kill me any way you want. I don't. I don't care how I die, but don't do anything to my penis. <laughs> so, uh, so I, I, I'll have to refrain from cutting off his penis uh, before I kill him. <laughs> well, we also had people who paid ten thousand dollars for my old hat. I had to buy a new hat. Uh, they paid. Uh, uh, I don't know, quite a sum of money for my suspenders, uh, um, and uh, I did have to draw the line somewhere, uh, despite Leo's best efforts to persuade me, I refused to sell any locks of my hair or clippings from my beard, which <laughs> evidently people were interested in buying. It's a, it's a strange world out there. <laughs> But, yeah, my fans were great. A lot of them, of course, got signed maps. They got signed books. Um, they got things like that, and, and it was a delight to give them to them, and I, I hope they get some, uh, some joy. And we will shortly be joined by the winners who uh, won the grand prize, which is uh, 
uh, they're, they're coming in and we're going to have dinner together tonight and uh, talk and then breakfast tomorrow and then we go to Santa Fe Airport and we get a helicopter ride down to the Wolf Sanctuary where we'll get to meet uh, the Westeros Pack and uh, some of the other folks uh, down at Wild Spirit. So, um, Leo asked a question of why these two charities. Uh, a large part of why these two charities, out of all the charities in the world, and there are so many worthwhile charities in the world, nonprofits. It, it, it's actually hard because you kind of wish you could, you could help all of them, but uh, that's hard to do. But we've, Paris and I have had a long relationship with two of them, and let me bring up my wife, Paris, to, to talk a little about uh, how we first uh, got involved with the, with the Food Depot here in Santa Fe and with uh, the Wild Spirit Wolf Sanctuary, uh, who, both of whom we've been supporting for years. Um, uh, th thanks for coming, folks. Um, we started donating to what is now known as the Food Depot back uh, probably in the early 1990s. And at the beginning, it was just a couple of spare bags of groceries and maybe a Christmas check for 50 bucks. Um, but we were doing a little bit. We, we knew that there was one person out there who, who had a couple of good meals because of us. And uh, George, uh, you know, George came from a working class family. Um, I worked many years at minimum wage jobs in bookstores and as a waitress. And so, I, I, you know, I, I know what it's like, to, we both know what it's like to, to scramble to pay all the bills and put food on the table. And New Mexico has one of the highest rates of food poverty in our nation, particularly among our children. And I think it's just, it goes against my very moral being um, to know that children are trying to go to school and they're hungry. And so this opportunity that was created by Prizio and our fans to help the kids in New Mexico get a few decent meals um, really, really is a wonderful gift, and we thank our fans and Prizio for And the Food Depot, these folks have worked uh, for decades to make life better for senior citizens, for people with terminal diseases, for the Boys and Girls Club, for, you know, every kind of organization that helps our communities thrive and not just survive. So thank you so much for all you folks who work at the Food Depot. I'm going to bring him up here, I'm not going to say a word, and, and uh, give them their, their uh, talk. So uh, we have uh, someone from the Food Depot to uh, talk to us here. <laughs> and we have a giant check for you. <laughs> the bigger the better, right? You can do this in like in the middle. Me? Yeah. Okay. See, so you stick these behind and you check. Okay. Yeah. 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 And just smile. <laughs> there we go. The check um, is for $172,485.53. So we're hoping we can We should buy a lot of green stuff. Even kids and uh, homeless people deserve green chili. This is New Mexico after all. <laughs> You want to uh, say a few things about the Food Depot? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Paris was talking about child hunger, and I want to share a story about um, someone named Kevin. Kevin shared with me. Because <laughs> about them, right? They're really a challenge. They can't always make checks. Uh, uh, Kevin is someone that I worked with at one point, and he shared with me that his family, there were several kids, and uh, they were doing quite well, and his mother got very sick and his father had his hours cut back at work. And all of a sudden they were finding that the parents were having a very hard time putting food on the table. And so Kevin said at night the kids would put belts on and they would pull the belts as tight as they could across their stomachs and that would eliminate some of the pain they felt from having such severe hunger. And I know we don't want any child in New Mexico to have to go through that, do we? Uh, and I'm so grateful for this wonderful gift. One in three children in New Mexico experience hunger. One in three children experience hunger. 
The Food Depot and our wonderful supporters like George and Paris and Prizio uh, help us do what we do every day, and that is make sure that we put food on the table for families in need. The Food Depot is the food bank that serves most of northern New Mexico. We actually serve nine counties. And as a food bank, we work through nonprofit food programs. So we supply food to emergency food pantries, to soup kitchens, to shelters. Paris mentioned the Boys and Girls Club. So lots of youth programs, daycare centers, senior centers, you name it. We're working currently with about 145 programs in nine counties in northern New Mexico. This gift, this most amazing, very generous gift, will help us provide nearly 700,000 meals for people in need in northern New Mexico. And I thank you both from the bottom of my heart. I feel like your family <laughs> at this point. Thank you so very much for your generosity and your kind, kind spirit. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Ray, you, you left out the 53 cent when you wrote it. Oh. Full life. <laughs> you did, you did. <laughs> so my, my minion, Ray Golden, uh, uh, our amazing calligrapher and, and uh, house artist here. <laughs> so, uh, thank you. That's an amazing number of, uh, of meals. So. That's, uh, that's incredible. And, you know, thank all you guys for the, the work you do in, uh, in feeding hunger here. Um, so, Paris, come on back and... Our association with the wild spirit uh, goes back also to the 90s or to, to the 90s? Okay, right, yes. And, and actually began with my fans in particular a group of fans called the Brotherhood Without Banners, who are, were my earliest fan club, and now the biggest, but, but great people from all over the country who would attend conventions and party with us and, and write me letters about the books. And uh, back in the early days, they also used to send us Christmas gifts. And it, it was very nice of them, but, you know, they would, some of them, um, were students, some of them were working minimum wage jobs, you know, uh, and, and they would get, they were donating money to buy uh, gifts for, for Paris and me, and I would say, you know, you don't, you, you're buying my books, that's, that's really enough of a gift, and I get a lot of money from that, and you don't have to, you know, put up for a gift, but they wanted to give us gifts, so we finally said, why don't you uh, just donate the money to a charity instead of actually you know, trying to buy me a watch or a, a, a tie or something like that. And uh, they took that to heart. And the next year, Paris, uh, and they knew Paris and her great love of animals, uh, got made a, a wolf mother. So it was the fans who found the Wild Spirit Wolf Sanctuary and bought her uh, a wolf mother. T t tell them about Sasquatch. <laughs> Uh, Sasquatch was, was one of the, the animals at the sanctuary at the time. He's crossed the Rainbow Bridge, of course. Um, but um, he just seemed to have a really great personality. And he had gone through some tough times uh, physically. And so I got to choose my wolf, and I chose Sasquatch. And for several years, the, the bros continued to make donations. And, uh, and then eventually, I took it over. And uh, we got to have a few conversations with Leighton and a few members of his staff, and we visited, and we told them several years ago that um, if they ever had an animal come in that didn't have a name, that we would be delighted to name it after one of George's characters in hopes that that would get fans to support that animal. And, um, and then Leighton and Wild Spirit um, rescued a pack of wolves from the Midwest who were being kept in terrible conditions and no medical care, just small cells they were living in. And uh, only one of them they really knew the name of. So um, our Westeros pack is a group of animals who were rescued and who have been brought to health and safety after years of neglect. 
and we love each and every one of them very dearly. And if you ever want to get me a Christmas present, support one of the wolves of the Westeros pack. Um, and so, um, you know, this, this prize campaign has brought a lot of awareness to, to these two things that George and I both love. And uh, for me, the work that Wild Spirit does with education, with, with telling people about why wolves are wonderful creatures and why it's a bad idea to keep them as a pet, um, and, um, and to care for animals who have been neglected and who we can't release into the wild. So um, I just you know, want to say thank you to all of the folks who have supported um, Wild Spirit in these years. And uh, Leighton, come on up and we'll give you a big check. <laughs> There we go. Okay. I want to go cash it. <laughs> Take a turn it on to Purina Wolf Chow. <laughs> well, that's awesome. I can't. Uh, I can't even begin to thank uh, Paris and George enough for just everything. It's just, <clears throat> they've just spent the last couple months blowing my mind. <clears throat> but uh, also thanks to the prize, you, uh, uh, Leo, and uh, uh, who else was, who else did I talk to? Uh, Many people. <laughs> yeah, you know, just everybody at Prizio because it was a brilliant idea. <laughs> I'm so grateful that they were already supporters of ours. Yeah. And that, that we got picked to be a part of this amazing thing. And, and uh, all of us, I know Paris, I know uh, Don, our social media lady, all of us at Wild Spirit, worked hard to just keep promoting, 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 promoting through social media this, uh, this Prizio campaign. So uh, I can just say a, a, a gazillion, million, million thank yous to both of you for <laughs> having us in your hearts and your minds. And if, if the Food Depot is anything like us, it's spent already. <laughs> it's already been designated before it arrived. And, uh, and uh, I, I told my, my new bookkeeper the other day, I said, did, we, did I really sign enough checks to pay off all our bills? She's like, yeah, you paid them off. I said, it doesn't, doesn't feel like I paid every bill off because we've had these lingering bills of nearly $50,000 for the last year just hanging over our heads, uh, driving me crazy. But now at least those bills are, are paid off. And, uh, and then we'll also be able to hopefully uh, even buy a restroom. <laughs> Yay! And the Westeros, uh, the Westeros Five, um, Paris and George already donated uh, their own money for the Westeros Four Pack habitat, which we already have purchased all those materials, and the Westeros Five will be purchased in the next few weeks, along with um, perimeter fence. We have to build perimeter fence first before we build habitat. So. Yes. Just to keep USDA happy, but. I, I'm totally, um, totally beyond words at this point. Just a big, big, hearty thank you and mega hugs. Thanks. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> so the winner did Richard arrive here? Oh, there he is. Yay. And here's our our grand prize winner. Come, come on up here and say hi. <laughs> Uh, I'm Layton. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. So uh, this is the the winner who uh, chosen in a lottery essentially from right. all of the people who uh, purchased tickets, and uh, the prize of course was the trip to Santa Fe, and uh, we're gonna have dinner together, and then tomorrow we take a helicopter down to the Wolf Sanctuary, and uh, that that should be an interesting adventure. Uh, <laughs> I hope we don't scare the wolves too much. Are they used to helicopters flying overhead? Uh, once in a while in some airplanes, but we got a brand new heliport put in. At cool. The campground, so. I'm the one that's scared about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you uh, say a few words here? I, I am honored that this happened to me. I just can't believe it. And I was happy to donate. <laughs> I'm glad that it's come to the house. And I'm thrilled.
thrilled to be here with George. He's one of my favorite writers, so it's great. And uh, it's the helicopter I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Very much. Hey, it couldn't be a slow drive. Right? <laughs> Where are you from? Where am I from? Yeah. I'm from Los Angeles. That's why they picked me, because I picked <laughs> <laughs> It was a round of It's not a hot air balloon. Yeah, Bloom, you know, you might wind up in the Wolf Sanctuary, or you might wind up in Nebraska. <laughs> so, uh, Fate worse than death. <laughs> Can I? Yeah, 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 absolutely. You've never been that close to a wolf before? Uh, not uh, one not like this. <laughs> I'm from L.A., so... Hi. Hi. <laughs> Flurry, uh, of course, is one of Leighton's uh, ambassador wolves. They have, what, what do you have, 54 wolves or something like that? 53. Yeah. 53 wolves. And uh, what, four ambassadors or something like that? Five, yeah. Five ambassadors. First wolf kiss? The, the Westeros pack, um, you know, that we're building a habitat for are wilder and can't really come out to, uh, to meet the public here. You just kissed me. Yes. <laughs> just, he just stuck his tongue in my mouth. He eats raw meat, right? <laughs> we call that exchanging DNA. Is it? Yeah, that's what we call it. So I'm going to turn this over to Leo to, to close it out here. But before I do that, I just want to say, uh, you know, um, thanks to everybody who contributed to this, everybody who made it such a wonderful success. I'm, I'm very pleased by this. And, Please don't stop now. Um, you know, it's amazing how fast even $172,000 can disappear. Both of these groups will need more support next year and the year after, and the year after that. There will still be wolves and wolf dogs who will need care. There will still be hungry people in New Mexico. And also check out many of Prizio's other auctions. They have lots of other, uh, other things going on. Uh, great prizes, um, great, uh, causes, uh, charities from all over the country and the world uh, that are that are worthy of support. And, and hopefully we'll do another one soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, you folks know this, but just spread the message that doing good deeds is a hell of a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it makes your life and the life of your community that much better.